Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave and today we are doing June's watercolor bouquet. So let's jump right in and start. Okay, so today we are going to be painting June's watercolor floral bouquet. I'm sorry this took so long. I know it did. Um, <laughs> did not mean for it to, but it's been kind of a crazy month. Um, there was a moment where Miles was in the hospital for a day and he was sick and it was just hard to take some time to work. And then Noah's been sick, you know, kids are just gross and they just all get sick. <laughs> so that was really difficult. And then just, I've been working a lot on my book lately. So there were deadlines that needed to be done for that. It's just been cuckoo bananas, as I say in my house um, to Noah instead of other bad words. It's just been crazy. So I'm finally getting around to it. I apologize it's been so long, but we are here now and we are doing it. So we're doing June's bouquet. I'm thinking some like peonies, some pink like peonies, and then like surrounded by some lilacs. I don't know. We're just going to go for it. We're going to wing it today. So I'm just going to grab a really light wash of my permanent rose. Okay. And I'm just going to start off with some rounded shapes. I want these peonies to be kind of closed. So I'm going to do kind of like these oval shapes. I want it even lighter than this. Like this in a circle. Okay, so it's like the the petals have been folded over. And then I'm going to just slowly kind of in the middle start making these rounded tight curve shapes like so. I actually wanted these petals even lighter, but let's see if I can lift up some of that color. Almost looks like a rose, almost. And if you want, you can take a little bit of darker pink and just, oops, too much. And just put some of the edge of the petals coming up. Totally up to you. We're just playing. I've never actually done it this way before, so I don't know if it's going to look good. <laughs> you could do some lines coming down. I don't know. Like that. All right, let's do another one. But let's have it like facing this way. So I'm just going to do a really light wash. Of a petal like that. A petal beside it and then like our typical peony shape that I usually do so rounded edges over here like that I just want some really nice fluffy light pink peonies for this grab a bit more pigment oops too much Bit around the edges like so and then I want to do another one down here that's kind of more of a uh, a bud so just a bit more rounded and smaller Okay, now I want to get some green, greeny, oh my god, peony greenies, green in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to grab some white though. I want to like lighten it up. White and like a little bit of olive green. Like not too green. I want to do like a pastel kind of olive if that is a thing. And I'm just doing some loose leaves in between just to kind of frame it. I want this bouquet to be really nice and light and airy. Like that. Okay. And then I feel like I need to add a little bit of darker pink. Just a little bit some of these oops oops not that dark that's fine 
and do some lines, especially on this one. like that. Okay. I might actually go in a little bit darker to some of these leaves just to create a bit of contrast, just a tad bit. All right. Like that. Okay. Then I'm going to, I want to surround this with some like little white flowers. And if you remember to do kind of more white flowers, gonna pick an undertone so you could do like a gray undertone or yellow undertone it could be pink purple whatever you want I think I'm gonna do should I do a blue mm, I'm gonna do a yellowish undertone so I'm just gonna take some yellow here maybe some yellow ochre a little bit of brown to make it more of like a beigey and then really lighten it up so like it's barely there and I'm just gonna do kind of like messy little flowers and the way you're gonna see this I know it's really hard to see um, is having the green kind of frame it once it's, it bleeds into it. So I'm just kind of filling up this space with this yellowy brown mixture. It could be like freesia or something. I just want to fill in these spots. And then while it's still wet, so I'm working quite fast. While it's still wet, I'm going to go back in with some green which you'll see to get like a color bleed and then you'll kind of see a bit more of the the petals not the petals but like the flower I'm just going to use my smaller brush I'm going to use my olive green and I'm just gonna kind of connect them on a stem oops that that's yeah, fine connect these little petal things like that and it just looks like it's a flower like that and if you wanted to make it stand out a bit more the green kind of overtook right there you can grab a little bit of just yellow and do like a little center like little dots like there's some stamen in there somewhere it can bleed a little bit so you can barely like see the shape of the flowers, what they look like. It's very loose, but having those color bleeds really bring it out. Okay. And now I want to create some lilacs, lilacs, lilacs. <laughs> so I did like a mixture of dioxazine purple, cobalt blue, and then some permanent rose with the purple. And we're just going to kind of go back and forth with the different uh, purples. And we're just doing these little like teardroppy shapes. Okay, grab some of the pinky purple. Throw it in there. We're just doing these teardroppy shapes. And it can even bleed into those little white flowers that we just did. Grab some of the bluish purple. Like so. that let's do another one down here and actually it it makes a difference if you kind of see I'm just scrubbing kind of like these rough shapes you can do those teardrop shapes more towards the top of the lilac and then as you move down just kind of like really loose scrubbing motions and I'm actually gonna lighten it up and then we're going to add some darker purple in there so you get light, light. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak for the life of me. Light and dark values. <laughs> who let me out of the house? Actually, I'm not out of the house, but who let me in public? I, I can't speak. I also didn't get much sleep last night at all because, you know, kids. 
Um, my husband had to sleep with the older one. I had to sleep with the younger one. It was just, no one was sleeping. Let's just put it that way. I'm going to grab a bit more darker purple and I'm just going to tap it in there. Let it bleed. Okay, so you get a nice range of darker and light values. You can even grab some of the pinkish purple. Just, whoops, lots of water. Throw it in there. Like that. And I'm going to grab a bit of our green. And I'm just going to go throughout the lilac and just kind of connect these little buds. So it looks like there's a stem kind of running through. And that green will bleed into it a little bit, which is fine. Like that. Let's create some more. Do another one down here because we don't want it like four symmetrical necessarily so see how I have three in the front and if I put four it might look a little weird so I'm gonna do another one down here we'll do some maybe more greenery over here maybe another one over here again balancing out with like three rather than four I feel like it just looks a bit more natural if that makes sense <laughs> Again, with the light wash of it. Scrubbing motion, leaving that white space in between the little bits. I feel like I want another one down here, just another tip. Like that. And then grab some darker purple, and drop it in there. I might actually just do a bunch more of these lilacs. Not as much green, just almost using that as the greenery. Let's see. <laughs> Let's do our stem throughout. I was using olive green to start, but I just grabbed a bit of hooker's green just to get a brighter green in there too. I wonder if I do some leaves. And then I'll do the lilacs around it because I kind of like how that looks there. Maybe grab a bit of a brighter green in there just to tap it in a bit. Okay, let's do more lilacs. I'm going to turn my paper just so I can get the right angle that I want it. I just find it's easier to do it this way. Oops, too much blue. that. Another one over here. Grab some darker purple. Like that. Turn it around and see how it looks. And then maybe some more over there as well. 
I might add some more flowers down here or greenery. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> This also helps frame those white flowers too. I feel like they look a little off. I don't know. I feel like I think I'm just going to end up doing it all the way around. <laughs> and then just throwing in some greenery in there as well. And they don't all have to be super dark or pronounced. You can just do some light ones without the, the darker bits. I think just like one more down here. And then we're gonna get some greenery going in between. Some of that green for the stems and oh, too much water. That's okay. Okay, so now let's start throwing some green in there. I think I'm gonna do maybe some eucalyptus. Should I do eucalyptus? eucalyptus? Actually, I'm gonna take some of this oxide of chromium green, which is a bit more on the opaque side, and I'm gonna add some white to it. So I just have a little bit of white in my palette. I'm just gonna lighten it up. I'm just gonna do these fluffy rounded leaves. Like that. Just kind of throw them in between places. Very loosely. Okay. 
Just trying to go around some of these lilacs. I don't want them too, like, I don't want them to bleed too much. I might grab a bit more just of the oxide of chromium and just tap it in the bottom where the stem would be, kind of connecting them. Or you could even do like little lines. I don't know. I like this though. some smaller ones I think I might even grab just a little bit of burnt umber for the stem of some of the eucalyptus. Just throw a little bit of brown in there to warm it up. Not a lot, just a little touch of brown. like that and then I'm just kind of stepping back seeing if there's any other spots that I feel might need a little bit of a touch up so put a little bit of stem in this one maybe we'll do just small leaves over here where I feel like they need a bit more just looks a little bit more bare but I think that's good I actually really like this one. And there we go. There is our June watercolor bouquet. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day, guys. Bye.